I'm so glad to be here in Chicago. Yes. Yes. And, and not the winter time. Wow, bro, I don't like that at all. I was, last time I was here, I was like, I think it was like February or something like that. And it was way too cold, man. And I hate telling people from Chicago it's cold. Cause they're like, no, it's not. It was cold like a month ago. It's cold now, OK? <laughs> I can see my breath, I win. As soon as I got off the plane, my whole body got ashy immediately. That's not <laughs> supposed to happen. You ain't supposed to change races as soon as you... Uh, I, was on a, I was on a show called America's Got Talent. I was on there. <laughs> All right, cool. You seen it? Okay. Yeah. I was on Champions. I was on a, uh, season 12, that's why. Who seen me on season 12? Who seen me on season... Okay. Okay. Who voted for me, though? Who voted for what? Yeah, all right, not enough time! Because I lost to a 12-year-old ventriloquist, y'all. She didn't open her mouth the whole time! You will never know what it feels like <laughs> to lose one million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know <laughs> that feeling. She believe in cooties. She got money now. <laughs> People ask me still, you still, you still talk to Darcy? Bro, she's 14 now. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. What am I going to tell? Hey, Darcy, how was school? Like, I'm not talking to I'm a grown man. And she beat me, so I hate her. Why would I communicate <laughs> with someone I hate, man? Don't hate Darcy, she's an angel. She is. So is the devil, okay? Now, and listen, this is my thing. I don't even care that I, I didn't lose, for real. I don't, I don't think you can, I don't think you can lose on that show. I mean, that, I, I did not lose. Y'all know who I am, so that's cool right there. You know what I mean? I think that's great. Yeah, man. I did win. I won because y'all know me. I was homeless two and a half years ago. Far from that now. I got money now. I got way more friends and family members than I remember. You know, I got on the show, Tower Banks licked my face. I think I'm doing okay. That's right. That's right. I still haven't showered on this side and I never will. She licked my face, y'all. I licked her hand first, right? She was interviewing me. And I was like, I can't believe it's you, Dara Banks. And she was like, yeah, it's me. And she puts her hand out. She's like, you can pinch my hand to see if I'm real. Matter of fact, you can kiss it. And I was like, kiss it? Because ah! I don't know when I'm going to get this opportunity again. <laughs> so I'm like, this is my chance. She started laughing. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> You laugh, that's consent. And so, before I went on stage, right, she was interviewing me. She was like, she was interviewing me. She was like, you ready to do this? I was like, I'm ready to do this. She was like, go get him, tiger. Or lie. I was like, ah, funny you called me a tiger because I'm feeling great, like the cereal. And I was walking on stage. And uh, you know how the judges, they start asking you all these random questions, like, hey, preacher, what's your favorite color? You got, you got a girlfriend? And at the time, I had a girlfriend. So I was like, yeah, man, she cool. I do my performance. I get off stage, Tyra Banks waiting for me. She mad, right? She was like, why would you let me lick your face on national television, preacher? And you got a girlfriend. And I replied, I let you lick my face, Tyra, because you're Tyra. Why would I not? Let Tyra Banks lick my face. If my girl had a chance for Drake to lick her face and she turned it down, I'm dumping her because I don't want to date anybody that's stupid. Are you serious? <laughs> Crazy. That's right. I'm not even gay. If I had a chance for Drake to lick my face, I am dressing up like an ice cream cone. You don't understand. Okay? He about to get all this. That sounds weird. Y'all get what I'm saying, right? I feel like there's... 
certain opportunities you don't just want to pass up, you know what I mean? So. But uh, yeah, man, I love that show. I love it, man. I love being recognized. First time I ever got recognized, three years ago, walking to Walgreens, it was like five people, they were like, yo, preacher! <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? When you clock in? Because I work there. But listen, <laughs> not, not much longer. You know what I mean? It's going great. You know? I went to Walmart one time. I got recognized. It was so cool, man. There was a kid in line, and he recognized me. I was, I was getting cash back. All I need was cash back. And he was like, oh, my gosh, you preacher Lawson? I was like, yeah, that's me. He's like, yeah, you're that guy who lost to Darcy. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, you could have stopped ahead of that. You didn't have to add that last part, but yeah, that's me. You know, he's like, can I get a picture? I was like, for sure you can get a picture, man. Took a picture with him, he was so hyped. He was like, thank you so much, Mr. Sir. And I was like, I don't even need anything. I just need cash back. So I was like, why don't I get him something? So I was like, hey man, you want some like candy or something? And he was like, yeah, because he's like, I'm a kid. Like, of course kids, no kid is actually, oh, actually I'm doing keto right now when I can't do the no bread or sugar. Like, they're not gonna do that, right? So I was like, you want some candy? He's like, yeah, I want some candy. Then I asked the mom for permission to buy him candy, because you can't just go up to a kid. Hey, little buddy, how you doing? <laughs> you want some candy? Call my buddy! You know, it's just weird. And I didn't want to hurt nobody. So I was like, hey, mom, is it okay if I get your son some candy? She gave me an attitude. She's like, is it before seven? I was like, what is he, a gremlin? I don't know what that means. <laughs> can he have some candy or not? She was like, he can have some candy. And I was like, all right. But she said some, she made one. You get that one piece of candy, bro. And he was like, thank you so much. So he takes a Snickers and he puts on the conveyor belt. I turn around because I'm about to pay for it, right? Feeling good about myself. And I'm like, you know, I'm about to hook this kid up with some candy. You know what I mean? I feel like a good person right now. And then I hear a light thud, right? And I was like, well, what was that? And I turn back around. Guess what I see? Two Snickers on the conveyor belt. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, hey, little stupid kid. You know, I... I just told you you can have one piece of candy, you put two on there. He's like, no, I didn't. I was like, who did then, huh? Was, was it the Snicker Monster? It was you, man. Quit playing with me. What is wrong with kids stealing these days, huh? First they take a million dollars. Now, they're trying to take a Snickers from me. I said, put it back. He's like, it wasn't me. Then the mom was like, calm down. It wasn't him. It was me. I was like, my bad. <laughs> then pick it up. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that up real quick. And then she goes, I thought you said you were gonna pay for it. And I was like, I agree to pay for one. She's like, that's just two. I was like, you know what two is? Not one, okay? So you, that's you right there, you know? Then she's like, just do it. I was like, just do nothing. No, I don't owe you any candy, right? And then she tries to seduce me after she was already rude to me, right? She tries to do, she was like, hey, well, you know, well, maybe if you buy the candy, maybe I'll give you my number. And I, I was like, what do you mean by maybe, though? You know, she was like, <laughs> she was like, I'll think about it. I was like, if I'm being totally honest, right, you ain't even two Snickers fine, okay? Like, <laughs> she wasn't. She, she, was, she could have got away with black licorice, cough drops, that cinnamon fire candy nobody liked. But she ain't two Snickers dying. Like, she, she looked like me, you understand? Now, I, don't, I don't think I'm the most attractive woman. Like, she looked like she was almost fine, like she was going through a sex machine, and halfway through, it just stopped working. Like, she looked like if you throw Beyonce in the microwave and press popcorn twice. That's what she looked like. I got one more. So she looked like if, if God was like, I'm gonna make the most perfect human being ever. And then Jesus interrupted God and was like, Daddy! He's like, what you need? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. He made me drop another one. Yeah, man, it's cool, man. I love, I love traveling, doing comedy. I think it's so cool. I think it's a lot of fun. Get to be in Chicago, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bipolar weather. <laughs> I got to be in Phoenix. Phoenix is too hot for life. Now, have y'all been to Phoenix? Why is it that hot? If I lived in Phoenix, I would try to go to hell just to cool off. Like, that's how hot. Man, I went there, I was so arrogant. I was like, I don't care how hot it is. I don't even get sunburns. And then Phoenix was like, challenge accepted. It is so hot. I was white three weeks ago, you understand? 
I was like, why do I keep getting pulled over? You know, it's so weird now. You know, so all of a sudden, it started happening. And uh, I did a show in St. Augustine, Florida. That was cool, man. St. Augustine, Florida is the oldest city in America. A lot of people don't know that for some reason. It's the oldest city in America. Another fun fact about St. Augustine is the people that first lived there still do. So many old people. Oh, my gosh. That's like heaven's waiting room. You know, everyone there is old. Yeah, man, it's also where they grow white people. There is no black people there at all. We're like unicorns. My shadow ain't even black in St. Augustine, Florida. There's three black people there. That's not even true. There's two, because I left. There's two black people, and they are ancient. Like, when I was performing there, there was one black lady in the front row. She was super old. Looked like the last survivor of Harriet Tubman's Underground Railroad, right? And she didn't even laugh at me. She was just looking at me mad the whole time. <laughs> Like, why are you mad, ma'am? You should be happy. You're free now. You know what I mean? Like, all good. You know? You can laugh at white people. I can say that, okay? <laughs> My best friend, black. Okay, I'm good. I got a black cousin, so. Just saying she was old. She was like 90. She had braces on. <laughs> it was like, for what? <laughs> like, yeah. a little too late now. Like, who, who are you trying to look sexy for? Jesus? Because that's who you about to meet, okay? Like, who wore braces on fake teeth? You know what I mean? It's weird that someone... Or the dentures with gaps in it or something? That's weird. Whatever. Just saying she was old. I don't know if she was like 90 for real. I don't know. I don't like guessing women's ages because I'm a genius. I'm not stupid. It's a trap, ain't it? I don't, yeah. You don't guess women's age, especially someone younger. They flip out. You could be close to their age. They still flip out. What are you like? What are you like, 25 or something? 25? Do I really look at all 25? I'm 24! Shut up. That was close enough. Older women, as long as you're within the same century, they're fine. Like, they don't even care anymore. You be like, after the moon landing, you such a gentleman. Oh my God. God. So now. I'm way out of here, Right? And dudes, we try to act like we don't care, right? But we care. I know I care. I know I'm getting older. Right? I know I'm getting older, because when I was younger, people used to tell me all the time, don't worry about it, preacher. You got your whole life ahead of you. You know what they tell me now? You still got time. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I guess it's one dude's age. This is how I know any men care about your age as you being guests, because I went to the bathroom, and I guess this dude's, okay, well, let me explain. That, that <laughs> I'm just not kicking down doors. How old are you? And I'm not doing that, right? I was, what happened was, I went to use the restroom because I drank a coffee that, you know, earlier that day. I don't know if y'all drink coffee, but I don't normally drink coffee, and when I do, I feel great. I'm like, man, I'm so energized, and I feel alert, and I just, why don't I drink more coffee? And then my booty's like, this is why! And it <laughs> snuck up on me. And I went to the bathroom, I was like, you know what I mean? You ever do, like, you got a sauce on your way? Like, I gotta go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> I went to the bathroom, and it was weird because I went to the, you ever go to a, a public restroom and you knock on the stall to see if someone's in there, right? I knocked on the stall, the guy inside said, it's open. <laughs> I don't know what he expected me to do, scoot on over, like it was weird, right? So I went to the next stall, right? And uh, I went to the next, you ever go to, like, use the bathroom and you think you only got to pee and then you get there, your body's like, nah, son, we got more work to do! And I destroyed that bathroom. I couldn't breathe for 11 seconds. I lost brain cells. I was like, why is my arm in the toilet? It was so big. Anyway, so when I got there, it was an automatic toilet, right? I hate automatic, to I hate automatic anything. I hate automatic toilets. I hate automatic lights. It's stupid. Why do y'all have automatic lights in the bathroom? That don't make any sense. You'll be in the bathroom getting your groove on and the lights just shut off. You're like, oh, stop! I can't stay! You're up there throwing toilet paper to get the sensor to go off. It's so annoying. And this stupid automatic toilet, people like them. Oh, they flush automatically, old cool. You don't know when, okay? Right? It's like a rush roulette for your booty. I don't like that, right? So, I, and then, you, ever have, you ever have a good automatic toilet? You're like, man, I finally got a good one. I can move a little bit, adjust, get a better squeeze. And then the toilet's like, oh, snap. Are you getting enough from the toilet? Blood! <laughs> this is a bidet at this point, you know? That was, so annoying. So, I use the bathroom, and I'm walking out. <laughs> I'm walking out to wash my ass because I'm not a nasty, right? <laughs> Actually, it's because someone else is in the bathroom, because if I was by myself, <laughs> I'd have been out of 
Hey, yo, you ever use the bathroom and you about to leave so someone walks in, you're like, oh, I gotta wash my ass now. <laughs> so they don't know the truth. <laughs> yeah, I just play, I always wash my hands. Anyway, so I'm, I'm walking out to wash my hands and then the, the dude in the other stall, he just kind of slides out the bathroom, right? <laughs> I'm like, what is this dude doing? So I greeted him. I was like, hey, man, how are you? Grown man. He goes, I'm doing great. It's my birthday. <laughs> I was like, that was weird. <laughs> but happy birthday, sir. How old are you? He's still grown at this point. He goes, guess how old I am. I'm like waiting on backup dancers to pop out the other stalls at this point. <laughs> guess how old he is. I was like, I guess how old you are. I'm not dumb, though. I'm not dumb. All right? If someone looks like they're over 50, guess what I, this is a, this is a tight jacket. All right, so. All right, anyway, so he's like, guess how old I am. I'm not dumb. If you look like you're over 50, guess what I do? I guess 10 years younger to make you feel good. I don't guess five, I guess 10 years younger. I lie. He looked like he was around 50, so I was like, how old are you, sir? We like, I don't know, 40 or something? Then he was like, how'd you know? And I was like, Dang, like, <laughs> like, what do you eat? Cigarettes? Like, why do you look like that? You look so, how many kids do you have? He's like, 11. I was like, that's why you look like that. If you ever see anybody with a bunch of kids, but they look amazing, it's because they don't take care of their kids, okay? They are not stressed out. Like, my dad probably looked the same age as me, because I never met him, so he probably looks like 28. That's weird that you clap for that, bro. That was kind of weird that you, hey, daddy, go! That's not something you clap for. Look, man, I don't care. Some of y'all grow up with, some people grow up with two sucky parents, right? I grew up with one amazing mom, so I feel blessed, man. Blessed. Yeah. Is she crazy? A little bit. But uh, you gonna be crazy raising four kids. <laughs> like, I used to hate my dad growing up. I'm like, when I see him, I'm gonna punch him in his face. I hate him. Can't believe he left. Then after a while, I was like, I get it. I got why he left. I'm not even mad he left now. You know, I'm, I'm mad he didn't take me with him. I'm like, you know what kind of father? Just leaves his son. No, I'm joking. My mom's great. My mom was great. My mom raised four kids on her own, uh, four kids and uh, three boys, one girl. And the one girl is disabled. She got cerebral palsy. So that was a struggle in itself because, like, you know, they, you know she learns differently. She has one leg longer than the other, so she limps when she walks. So, you know, you know kids, kids aren't mean, but they just say whatever that comes to their head, right? They just be like, why you walk like that? What's wrong with your leg? You a pimp? They just say whatever. And you... <laughs> And you can't just hit a kid, excuse me, you can't get caught hitting a kid. You know, you gotta, you gotta put into a game. Let's play tag, do it! You know, do what you do. You know? Gotta get creative. <laughs> yeah, man, my mom, my mom was the strict growing up. She was super strict. We couldn't watch Batman growing up. We couldn't, the Halloween was a devil's birthday. Right? She couldn't have squirt guns. She like, squirt guns are too much like guns. I'm like, I don't think you ever had a gun before, mom. Like, oh, <laughs> no one's gonna rob you with a super soaker. Like, give me all the money, woman, or your makeup is gone. Like, that's not a thing. That's stupid. <laughs> she used to wash her mouth out with soap for saying cuss words in the house. With so I'm not talking about this jail soap you could just rub. I'm talking about, <laughs> that, you know what I mean? The one you can't breathe with for saying cuss words in the house. You know cuss words like shut up, dang it, stupid. You know, not cuss words. <laughs> let, let me say a real cuss word. Well, I wish I would say a real cuss word, all right? Now, I would not, that's an automatic beatdown. You don't even gotta be related to my mom to get whooped for cussing in her house. My best friend growing up, his name was Red, like the color. His name used to be Fred. He cussed in front of my mom. She beat the F out of him. And then... <laughs> I like how y'all just applauded child abuse, but whatever. <laughs> you like, Beat them kids! All right, let's go. Mom is great, man. Mommy, she would, she would never flip out on us, though. She would never flip out on us in public, you know. My mom would not flip out. Some, some parents just lose it on their kids. My mom, if, she, if I was acting up in public, she would just hug me. That's all she would do. She would be like, you just need some loving. That's all you need. He just needs some loving. Get you some love, boy. Come here. Come on. You just, come on. You trip. Come here. Come here. You want to die, little boy? 
I will kill you. Keep on acting up. I love you. All right. You done crying? You all done. All right. Sometimes he need a hug. That's all he. <laughs> my mom does some silly stuff. One time for my birthday, she bought me a race car bed, right? When I was in high school. So I was like, it's not the kind of car I wanted, mom. She got me a, <laughs> a race car bed in high school. <laughs> That's my mom right there, by the way. So like, <laughs> am I lying? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you not give me a race car bed in high school? It was high school. What are you talking about? She didn't give me a race car bed in high school. It was 100% high school. Yeah, she thought it was a good idea, too. She was like, what do you want for your birthday? I was like, I don't even care. Mom surprised me. Then she was like, surprise. And I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> this is stupid. You got me a race car bed in high school. Who the heck buys a 21-year-old a race car bed? Who does that, man? No, I couldn't even, couldn't even bring my friends over. They make fun of me. Hey, preacher, how fast can you go to sleep? Like, shut up, bro. I'm corny. So annoying, man. I peed in that bed so many times. You have no idea. It was a lot. As a kid, you know what I'm just saying? I used to pee in the bed a lot. I used to wake myself up from peeing in the bed, and I would just go back to sleep. I'd be like, too late now. <laughs> it's already out there. Can't take it back, so it's like... <laughs> I don't pee myself anymore. Last time I peed myself was about three weeks ago, and uh, it was in that. I was awake. I was in Nassau, Bahamas. Make some noise if you've been in Nassau, Bahamas. Make some noise. Hey. Everybody that cheered, they got money. Go rob them. Anyway, so I... <laughs> Couldn't afford to go. They flew me out. They put me in this super nice hotel. Behind the hotel, they had a water park, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? It's a water park. They had a 70-foot drop slide. 70-foot drop slide. I got to the top of that slide, and I peed on myself immediately, right? <laughs> not because I was scared. I'm not scared. I've been skydiving. I'm not scared of no 70-foot drop slide. I was peeing on myself because I'm like, it's a water park, and I could probably get away with it, right? <laughs> Halfway down, I'll just wash it away, you know? And for some reason, the ride shut down right before I got on. Yeah. It was like, sorry, man, the ride is shut down. I was like, why? He's like, we had an accident. I was like, you have no idea how right you are, actually. <laughs> That's why I got to go on so I can wash it away, you know? And he was like, wash what away? And I was like, that mind. And then <laughs> he was like, why are you wet? And then I tried to play it off like he was dumb. I was like, what do you mean, why am I wet, bro? Where the water park? <laughs> Obviously, I went swimming earlier, and then I, um, I came here after I was, I was done swimming. He's like, you went swimming? I'm like, yeah. He's like, with one leg? And I was like, listen, man, like you, you, you act like you never tipped your toe in the pool real quick to see the temperature, man. I, I just did that with one leg. I was like, I wonder if it's cool or not for me to get in, right? And he's like, you peed on yourself. I'm like, how you know? He's like, because you're still peeing. I was like, you're right, because I still was. I was Whatever. It was one of them long morning pees. You ever do that? And you're like, it's a record right here. You know what I mean? I don't remember drinking this much water. All right. I'm the only one? All right, whatever. A... <laughs> that was a long time ago. I don't do that anymore. All right, as a kid, yeah, I used, as a kid, I used to pee on myself. I love being a kid. When you're a kid, it's great. There's no bills. There's nap time. You win a million dollars. You know, <laughs> just great being a kid. I'm not mad, it's fine. But listen, I'm saying that nap time used to be a punishment. Ain't that crazy? Like, we wanted, we, we didn't want that then, but we want it now. What if you went to work late and your boss, like, uh, you're late for work, go to bed? You'd be like, for real? That's actually why I was late, because I was in bed. <laughs> what if we got the same punishments we received as children, but we got them now, right? Like, we get pulled over for speeding, and instead, the cop giving us a ticket, like he walked up to the car like, uh, excuse me, you know how fast you were going? And then you're like, yeah, yeah, I was, I was going like, I was going 60. Oh, 60 in a 45 zone. Step out the vehicle. Step out the vehicle and spread them. You've been going 60 in a 45. Oh, so what you're trying to tell me is, right, is that you seen the sign, but she don't want to listen. Okay.
That's how my mom with me. I don't know how y'all got to <laughs> I like, I like how half y'all laugh. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how half y'all laugh, the other half was like, that was a high jump. That was pretty good. <laughs> Surprise, I'm black. Okay, come on. Surprise. Yeah, yeah, she can jump like that too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got whoopings as a kid? You got whoopings? What's the worst spanking you got with what? You don't remember, bro? <laughs> That's child abuse, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, what's the worst woman? What's my name? I know this. They tell it to me all the time. <laughs> what if someone just walked in here right now while I'm putting on my belt? Like, what kind of show is going on right here? <laughs> Thought I was a pastor on stage and he's getting... <laughs> getting naked. You don't remember what the worst thing you got whooped with? I'm gonna ask the black people next to you. Y'all know, all right. <laughs> what's the worst whooping you got with what? A pan? Yo! How you get whooped with a pan? You do your homework, Jamal? <laughs> I ain't doing nothing, Mom. Shut up. What? Like, <laughs> I don't even know what you did. You deserve it. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, like, yeah. See, one time my mom beat me with my brother, so I understand where you come from. <laughs> For real. She was mad at both of us. She was like, I'm gonna kill two stones with one bird. <laughs> and then I, she got us. Y'all knew what I meant, okay? It don't matter where the stone or the bird or stuff is at. Same time. You got what I was saying. It don't matter. I'm not dumb. <laughs> I'm not, not the dumb one in the family. Everybody got a dumb person in the family, and if you don't think so, it's you, all right? <laughs> just saying. Everybody got one dumb person. I like how you just, you pointed to your sister. Like, you just, why would you point to this? She was like, it's you. Like, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's my brother, Justin. Obviously, right? That's... Everyone knows he's the dumb one in the family. Anyway, so this, this, but this is the thing. My mom thinks I'm the dumb one in the family. And I know my mom thinks I'm the dumb one because when I was eight, she spelled out a word she didn't want me knowing. You know how some of y'all do your kids? No more drink for Timmy because he's about to go to B-E-D. That's what my mom did with two of me. You know what she spelled out when I was eight? My name. She thought I was so dumb she could spell my name in front of me when I was eight and I wouldn't know. In front of my brother who's dumb, right? She said, keep it a secret, Justin. Do not tell P-R-E-A-C-H-E-R. -E -E and I'm sitting there like, P, that's me. <laughs> my brother over there, P-R-E. Can carry the A. I was like, Your preacher, who the heck is Pikachu? <laughs> yeah, man. One time this man called me up crying about mom. He was crying. He's like, man, I'm so tired of mom, man. Giving me chores, telling me what time to come in the house. I'm running away. I'm like, you can't run away, Justin. He's like, why? I'm like, cuz, you're 29. Okay, like that's. <laughs> That's moving out, you know what I'm It's not even running away anymore. And I hope he does move out, because I hate sharing a room with him. It's really annoying. Like, this dude is always sleeping naked. I wouldn't even care if he slept naked if we had separate beds. But he always on my side of the race car bed. I'm like, man, dude, this ain't no Uber pool. I feel like I should let y'all know I like women right now. All right, so I like, I like, I like women, all right? Uh, we have an older brother as well named Joshua. He likes women as well. He just likes men way more, you know what I mean? Because he's gay. Uh, so we found out he was gay last year. That's not even true. We didn't find out he was gay last year. He just told us he was gay last year. We knew the whole time. We knew. We knew. It was so obvious to the point when he told me, I took it as disrespect. I'm like, how dumb do you think I am, bro? I grew up with you, man, and you played the clarinet. You know, like, there were clues <laughs> growing up. This is how he told us. We were having a family dinner. He took his cup and a fork. He was like, ting, ting, ting. I got something to tell y'all. <laughs> I 
was like, what you got to tell us, man? He started crying all over my shoulder. He's like, I'm gay, though. I'm like, first off, you getting your mascara all over me, man. <laughs> Second off, I knew you was gay growing up, man. You had a diary. That's how I knew you was gay. <laughs> I didn't even read it. The fact that you had one, I was like, gay? I already knew. <laughs> I never had a diary. I had a journal, but that's way different, okay? Uh, that's like, cause I done put dates 